Today I'm going to be trying to extract or increase the concentration of potassium chloride as we can see here on this graph. Potassium chloride has a higher solubility rate and is better at dropping out of solution than sodium chloride. So first we are going to weigh about 100 grams of water and 54 grams of low salt salt which is comprised of 66% uh, potassium chloride and 33% of sodium chloride and 1% of magnesium carbonate as an anti-caking agent. Now we just need to dissolve them together in 100 degrees Celsius water and um, we can see here that the solution is very cloudy as a result of that 1% magnesium carbonate. So after filtering, this is what we have. Uh, we just need to do a simple recrystallization. These were my crystals as we can see here. So as we can see here, these crystals are quite interesting and are composed of tiny small rectangles. Now I was just trying to make some uh, potassium nitrate for a future video, but little did I know that the coal pack I was using was actually made from urea instead of what I was hoping was ammonium nitrate. So the process of making potassium nitrate is basically just adding uh, potassium chloride salt into ammonium nitrate or some sort of nitrate source. Um, after the recrystallization, I was left with a clump, like we can see. And uh, yes, I was able to smell the decomposition of uh, urea, which made ammonium gas. Not very fun. They attempt to burn, I mean melt the salt. But we can see here that the potassium chloride is just melting, and this other salt is refusing to let my torch burn it. The gas produced from the decomposition of um, night, uh, ammonia gas is just stopping the ignition of my torch. Uh, and this was a bigger batch than I did. I thought that the time lapse was interesting, so here you go. And also some very nice crystal structures right here. And yeah, just to prove that it was somewhat purified, we can see a faint lactic purple which suggests there is potassium chloride. But if I put the whole thing in there, we can see that it turns into a yellowish orange. That is because of light contamination. The color of burning sodium covers up the burning of potassium. Now, I've lost a total of 74 grams of overall salt during the process, and I've recovered about 116 grams of potassium chloride, and got 160 grams of sodium chloride with potassium chloride. So that is all out of 35 grams of low salt salt. Now if we plug this calculate if we plug these numbers 
but we can actually see that I've got about a 50% yield of potassium chloride and 139 grams of, I mean, percent of sodium chloride with potassium chloride. Of course, this was not uh, me trying to make pure potassium chloride, but just making it higher in concentration. But if you guys have any ideas of how to make the extraction yield better and more pure, share them in the comments below. With all that said, hope you enjoyed. See ya!